when I was a little girl, my father took me to the reflecting pool here. We were on a road trip from New York to Florida to visit family. And I've told this story before, but it was my first time ever visiting Washington, D.C. And it was my only time visiting Washington, D.C. for years, if not decades. And he rested me on the side of the reflecting pool and had my toes dip in the water. And he had me look at the Washington Monument, had me look at the Capitol, had me look at the entirety of the capital of our, of our great country. And he looked at everything and he pointed to all of it and he said, this belongs to all of us. This belongs to you and it belongs to me. And so the first note that I want to tell children across this country is that no matter what the president says, this country belongs to you. Mm -hmm. And it belongs to everyone. And today, that notion, that very notion was challenged. This weekend, that very notion was challenged. So I am not surprised when, a, when the president says that four sitting members of Congress should, quote, go back to their own country when he has authorized raids without warrants on thousands of families across this country. I am not surprised that he used, uses the rhetoric that he does when he violates international human rights and takes thousands of children away from their families. I am not surprised that he has turned our public education system under the leadership of Betsy DeVos into a cash cow to enrich himself and his friends. I am not surprised when he corrupts via the Secretary of Transportation. I am not surprised at what he's doing. But I also know that we're focused on making it better because we don't leave the things that we love. And when we love this country, what that means is that we propose the solutions to fix it. We love all people in this country, and that's why we believe health care is a human right. We, we love all children in this country, and because we do, that's why we fight for education for all children through college. And so we'll stay focused on our agenda, and we won't get caught slipping because all of this is a distraction. It's a distraction from what's most important and from our core values as American citizens.